Myself, Oakley. <laughs> Who is? Uh, I'm a rigging and sailmaker on board Team Lutzi. Thank you. And me, Holly Cover, Team Director. And we are here at the start line of leg six. Of the import race. It is yeah. leg six already. Leg six, here we go. We're in the, we're in the, we're in the start sequence. The five minute gun just went. We have uh, boats uh, down uh, to the left over here. They're in their pre start area and they're going to find a nice position so they can shoot down the course and um, yeah, do a couple laps and then finish back, uh, back at the start finish boat. So there is biotherm over there guys and the course is like a rectangle today. <clears throat> so we are at kind of the bottom end of that rectangle. Oh, there's four minutes to go. Four oh, minutes yeah. people. <laughs> so you can see their whole sim in the background. Melitza is actually behind that start boat there. It is a beautiful day here in Aarhus, a little bit fresh. It's a nice, cool, breeze that's around I'd say eight to ten knots. Eight to ten knots. Eight to ten knots. I think further down the course there could be a little a little more pressure as we get further away from the land. Uh, the team did a little trial speed run down before and it was pretty good. Uh, so they got all their settings, all their marks, everything ready to go so just need a time it right getting to the start line. Hopefully in a good position and um, yeah, the race will be on very shortly. And I don't know if you guys can see, but we have so many spectator boats here in Aarhus. There was a huge crowd. I think the biggest crowd, we've got three minutes to go. The biggest crowd at Dockout I've seen, a very excited crowd. And many, many, many sailing boats water. all the way around us yeah, here the, to uh, watch. Yeah, so guys, feel free to ask questions in the chat. Get bail on too. We can read everything you're saying. We've got Oakley here with us. For those of you just joining, Oakley is our rigger in the team, and he can answer any technical questions you may have. Well, I'll give him my best <laughs> shot, but if he can't, maybe I can. So you can ask us anything. There's a few. There's a few other people on the on board that can uh, potentially answer questions, not pointing any fingers and naming names. But Chris, Chris here, Chris here from hiding. Marine, Marine rigging. Hi. <laughs> Services. We have Stu here, boat captain, and Jimmy making the movie. Hello. Yo! Right. So, how long, guys? Melixia's bikes are back in the start box here. Two minutes. Uh, Biotherm and Holston seem to be kind of battling each other to get in a favourable position. Um, Melixia's yep. coming in from the back. With 11th hour there, huh? The 11th hour, so it's all a jostle to, to try to get the, the best position. Uh, you also have to time it right to get to the line if you're over the line. If you're over the line, you have to turn around and go back. So you don't want to be over, but you don't want to be too late. So you want to time it just right. Yeah, you see the front two boats luffing up here a bit now. You are asking who is on board. So we have a new crew member, guys, on board. We have Boris Herman as skipper. Will Harris, Rosalind Kuiper, and Axel Pilan joining the crew. She is a French sailor. She has actually been with the team for over a year now. She works in performance and electronics, and she has sailed a lot on this boat. In every training, she's done the Atlantic crossing uh, in the Guadeloupe back to France. Whoa, that's one minute to that's go. That's one minute one to go. Minute, people. So Malixi is coming in nice and fast uh, from behind. Potentially, if they get the timing right, they'll hit the line with speed. If they don't get it right, they're going to have to slow down. So we'll see how we go. How long we got? 40 seconds. 40 seconds. 40 seconds. You see both of them there speeding up as well. 11th hour here on the left. A bit too close, guys. A bit too close? Look at that. 25 to go. 25 to go. Who's going to be on the line with pace? 11th hour's coming in now, nice and fast. 15, 15 to go. See how good their timing is. Looks like Fuck. they're trying to kill some time, doing here. some snakes, doing some ups and downs. Eight, seven, here we go. Six, Four, five, three, two, one, and. And that is the start, the guys. Start. Off they go. Biotherm looking super strong to Lured. They had the line at pace. 
speed and clean air, clear breeze. Way to go. So you have it guys, you are live from the Melitzia chase boat. We have Holly here with the technical team. We also have Oakley commentating, who is one of our riggers. We can answer lots of your questions. Do you have any? Turn them away. Fire. So we are going to speed up a bit now, catch up with the fleet. You see the 11th hour here. Looks like Biotherm and Holson got the best start. Uh, Biotherm to the leeward, Holson to windward, slightly further back, maybe by two or three boat lengths. Uh, both in clear breeze. Unfortunately for Militia, they got stuck behind Biotherm and Holson. And now 11th hour. The, the, <laughs> the dirty wind that comes off the back of the sails of Biotherm and Holson affects the wind that is being projected onto Militia. That's why we are a little bit slower at the moment. So uh, once we start getting our clear breeze back, we can pick up our speed and try to get back in the game. And for those of you asking, Rosie is on board. We have two female sailors on board. Rosie has not been replaced. We have Axel and Rosie on board. Is this a reaching start? Uh, yes, it is a reaching start. So this, this race course is actually uh, more of a reaching race course. So they reach off the one mark and then do a short jive and downwind and then they come back the other way. So they'll do that maybe two two times, like two laps. And uh, it's essentially a reach back and forth on either jive. And can you tell us what sails we've got up at the moment? Uh, so all the boats have their light wind reaching or upwind sails. Uh, they like to call it the J0. So it's the kind of largest upwind reaching sail. We have a helicopter over the top of us at the moment, guys, which is why it's a little bit loud. But if you have any questions, please let us know. This is leg six of the import race. Currently, unfortunately, we are in fourth place. There are only four boats at this import race. Geo arrives in the next few days. So luckily there will be five boats at the start, but currently there are four of us in this port. And here is Militia. Lots of you online at the moment, guys. Please feel free to ask us any questions. I'm here with Oki and myself, Holly, and we are happy to bring you the Militia Chase Boat. Nice to see where you guys are. Some of you coming in from America, Germany, up to the first turning mark. You can see them bearing away there in first place. Holson maybe four or five boat links behind. We've got people coming in from France and Kiel. Wow. Who is going to be with us in Kiel for that flyby guys? We will be we would love to see you there too. So after this turning mark, Thank it's you. a good opportunity to, to, to overtake as the boat to do a manoeuvre, which is a jibe. So it's a good opportunity for, for a boat to, to have a better manoeuvre than someone else or, or not make a mistake and uh, potentially gain a place. So let's see. Let's see what happens. Typically, okay, we've been pretty good in manoeuvres, I would say pretty fast. What's uh, the advantage on our boat that we have over some of the others? Uh, I'd say the advantage we have is the amount of space we have in the cockpit to uh, to handle the ropes and uh, put the power into the into the winches. Um, that's what I'd say. Do you go that military around that mark now? I'd say our advantage is we have good sailors on board. <laughs> so I think our configuration today is uh, I think Axel and Rosie are on the grinder. So Axel has replaced Will in that role and Will and Boris are uh, Boris on the helm I think and Will on kind of lookout on the opposite side of Boris. Has the damaged sail been replaced? The damaged sail has actually been fixed guys so the J2 is repaired and back on board. Yeah thanks to North Sails uh, in Copenhagen 
those boys, they sorted us out, they looked after our sails, they fixed it up, and uh, it's good to go again. Just super handy. Even from the Netherlands. Hang on, there's Melitzia doing a manoeuvre. There's 11th hour there. Unfortunately, we don't have a live cam from inside the boat. Have we not just swung over? I think you can stream it on Eurosports as well. I think they might be live on that. Exactly, there is live on Eurosport. Perhaps Helen, who is uh, at the base, can be there. But you can watch on Eurosport from the helicopter and on board Antoine, our fly captain. We are just reporting from the Militia uh, chase boat to bring you as close as possible to the action, but please feel free to open other screens. You can also turn us off if you want to. <laughs> so Militia have jibed before 11th hour, so now they are now on the inside. So now if they can get to the mark before then, they will have a good opportunity to sneak in front. It's super nice to see the boats lined up here, and four of them at least on the start line, guys for this import race of leg six in Aarhus today. We are expecting Hugo to arrive with us in the next days. So there will be five boats on the start line of leg six. There is a little battle going on at the back there, guys. Milit the between Militia and 11th hour. Looks like 11th hour are just going to creep around the outside. Going around the mark now. And Militia rounding up now to go around the mark. Head back down to the starting end the next turning mark will be. Yeah. Here you go guys. So for those of you online, but I do not know if it's free this time. And there is Militia currently in fourth place coming down the long stretch here. We are just powering on to catch up with them to show you a closer view. Any questions you have guys, put them in the chat. We are reading them, we will reply. You are here with Holly and Oakley, so you have all the knowledge in the Militia team world oh. at your fingertips. Oh yeah. <laughs> some beautiful ships out today, some older style. You see Militia going past one right now. Beautiful. I feel like everyone's out today on their boat, huh? There's no boats in the harbour. Aarhus has turned out in full force, guys. It's beautiful to see. So we are just speeding along now, guys. Any questions, put them in the chat. Currently in fourth place, but hoping to catch up. Biotherm there in front. Second is Holsim. Then 11th hour, then us. It looks to be pretty evenly spread at the moment. Over the I'm attacked. Uh, yeah, there's about know, 10 bowlings between all, all four boats. They're evenly spaced. Uh, the with this type of race course, it's, it's very straight line speed between the two marks. Um, whoever has the fastest boat between the two marks is usually going to win the race. And then you of course have things like errors or maneuvers which can slow you down or, or mess up your positioning. Great. Do you think we're gaining a little bit there on 11 hour or not? No. The Explorer is there. We are probably, I don't know, 100 meters away? Why not upwind, downwind course that will be competitive? This square course is so dull as there is hardly any passing. We can take that up with the rain. Oh, I will let you know feedback next time. Good luck, Melitia. Question, how can I join the team for the Ocean Race Europe? Send an email, info at borisalmanracing.com. Greetings from Kiel, guys. I hope to see a lot of you there in Kiel with us. So for now, we come back to the race. You see these four boats here by them. At the front, Holton, 11th hour, and Malicia. Are you going to switch back to the old foils eventually, or do you prefer the new ones? 
Unfortunately, the old foils are not repairable, so we are very happy with the new ones. They will be staying in the boat. Any other questions, guys, just let us know. Here are our friends in Holston there. <laughs> How far I am away in Kiel from the boat? <laughs> the, uh, in Kiel, the boat will be coming right into the Kieler Börder, the Börder, however you say that in German. And uh, you will see them very closely. You will, the turning mark will be almost opposite the uh, Lige restaurant. So if you position yourself well, you will be able to see the boats up close. <laughs> Is it the weight of the boat that makes it slower in less wind? There are many factors that play a role in this. Your tactics, such as, like the hull shape, sail choice, sailors. I think it doesn't really matter about the weight and how you sail the boat. Uh, every boat has its little advantages and disadvantages in certain conditions, but um, with our sailors, they've, they've found the, the perfect trimmings for, for our boat and, and it's, they're able to keep the pace and be even faster. In fact, uh, if you didn't know, it's now technically the fastest modern hull in the world. So, Which we're pretty happy. It's definitely not slow. <laughs> yeah. Yep, so that was during the last long leg across the Atlantic. Uh, Malipsia smashed that record, to be honest. It was had been previously held by Comanche. Then uh, a few hours later, we actually topped Holton top speed as well. We're hopeful that that record is going to stand for a very long time. So guys, you are here from the Militia Chase Boat, for those just joining on board, we have Rosie and Axel, Will and Boris. They will be the sailors for the next leg, and of course our fly captain Antoine is there as well. We have Biotherm there guys in first place, then Holsim, 11th hour and Militia. The order has not really changed since uh, the first few seconds after the beginning. So now instead of a jibe, they have to do a tack. So passing through, hit the wind. Could be a potential opportunity to, to move forward on the fleet and take a place. You see there, Biotherm doing that right now, filling that head sail and deploying it on the other side. <clears throat> Next up will be Holson, coming around the mark. How many rounds? Twice. They will do this course twice. So after they round this white mark here, they will pass back through the start finish line, and there will be one lap. Holsim looked like they tacked a bit earlier there than Biotherm. You see there, 11th hour heading further past, past the mark before they do their manoeuvre. Turning now and furling, and next up will be Militia. Merchandise, guys, is available online. Can you explain how the new and the old foils differ? One second, guys. Okay, Holsom around there. Holsom coming around that next mark now. <clears throat> yep, merchandise guys, you can buy it in The Hague. You can also buy it online in advance from the Musto store. 
but you can buy it from the Heli Hansen store. You can buy the Musto Team Militia gear from the Heli Hansen store in The Hague. There we have Holsim guys in second place. <clears throat> and we have Militia and 11th hour now coming up to this mark. on the right coming round the mark now 11th hour definitely taking a bit wider than us any questions guys about the race please feel free to put them in the chat there you have 11th hour sailing past us at the moment. This is leg six of the import race. We are here in Aarhus. It is a beautiful day. There is Melitia. Coming past now. Looks like we've had a slight gain on 11th hour here. Maybe a boat length or two. Any chance to win the race now, this leg now? It's going to be tough guys, Biotherm is quite far ahead, we would need, it's not impossible, nothing's impossible, but we definitely need some luck and some good conditions. We are going to pursue the boat now. new crew member Axel Tillan, she is a French female sailor. Will Harris on board and Boris Herman. We also have Antoine Oriol as our OBR. This will be the same crew as we have for leg six starting in just a few days time. At the moment in this import race we are sitting in fourth place. If you have any questions guys, please feel free to ask them. If you look down there, Biotherm have just gone round the end mark again. This is the second lap of the course. <laughs> we have Oakley here who's going to tell you some fun facts, Oakley. Fun facts? Yeah. Uh, fun facts, here we go. Fun facts, tell fun us something. Fact. Will looks like he's driving right now. He's driving the big box. Um, Antoine is up the front with his camera, our OBI, OBI, sorry. Also known as the flight captain. Yeah. Um, oh, we have a question. How tough will the next leg be? There's not going to be much sleep on the next leg. The next, the next leg, because of the, the landscape of the race course, it's, um, it's, a, it's a tight race course going down the keel. Uh, there's not a lot of open water, so there'll be a lot of manoeuvres, a lot of tacks, a lot of jives, which is uh, a lot of work for these for these boats, for these teams. Um, the whole team has to get up, be awake, and, and go through manoeuvres. And uh, there's going to be a lot of that, a lot of jostling for positions. Like a so, drag race, basically the whole way, right? Likely. It's going to be it's going to be pretty tactical, I think. Um, yeah, it's going to be super tactical, and where you want to be. Uh, as 
I said, lots of manoeuvres, quite a tight race course, and then going down into the Hague will be um, a tight finish, I'm sure. Definitely. Other questions. When do you expect the flyby in Kiel on Friday? I think that is expected from 3 pm onwards. And there is a militia stand in Kiel, and we, a lot of the militians will be near the Fligge to watch the uh, flyby itself or out on the water. But we also have a militia activation area which we are sharing with our scientific partners and green boats. You are welcome. Please come down and see us. We will be branded. You will see us there. Just back to the Ridley there is Holton. They've gone round that end mark, 11th hour as well there. Malizia heading for that mark. That cross is good. Holson, you have Biotherm, great to see them back. They actually only got the boat back last night, or last, last, night. last night, so it's really nice to see them here doing well on this race. You have Holson there, 11th hour, and then Malizia coming around soon, I think. Not too soon. Keep the questions coming, guys. <clears throat> we hope to see a lot of you in Kiel. Come down and see the team, watch the boats fly past there on the 9th of June in the afternoon around 3 p.m. There is lots of information on our website, teammilitia.com. Come and see us. You can click on there how to follow the Kiel flyby, how to come and see the team, where we will be positioned and where the flyby occurs. So just have a look on there. There is Milizia now doing that manoeuvre. Seems like Biotherm has made quite some gains down there. Are Malipsi and Biotherm the only teams on the inland race course? Are others still out in the ocean? No, we have all the teams here apart from Gio. So we have Biotherm up there, Holsim here, 11th hour and Malipsi. Gio are not here yet. They have had uh, lots to repair with their damaged mast, but they will be back for this leg. They are arriving on Tuesday. Uh, we that? are very happy to welcome, welcome them. <clears throat> what? We will uh, be in Kiel for the flyby, not in Hamburg uh, at the moment with the boat. Kiel. So guys, this is leg six in port race. For those of you just joining us, <clears throat> Militia is currently in fourth place in this import leg. They are heading for that mark over there at the moment. Go back to the ah, Yeah, yeah, like keep following. Yeah. What weather are we hoping for for leg six? We will have to bring you that information soon. Weather briefing starts tomorrow. Paul Biotherm was the first to pass the start line and in this course with the gang, they will win. No passing possible. It looks like Biotherm down there, look, is heading for that finish line. You can see them there. Distance. Never say never in these inshore races. We have seen many things happen. Uh, in the import races, we've seen spent like with a big marks been hooked. We've seen sails blown out. We've seen battens broken. I think uh, it's never a dull moment. These boats are not really made for this inshore race courses, but they definitely bring some entertainment. Thanks, guys, for the comments. Keep them coming. Any questions, let us know. There is Melissa in the distance there. Woo. Yeah, that's also true. 
from what someone online we have seen Malitzia do a big comeback in the in the Alicante import race in these conditions that will be less easy to do with these gaps how long until the Hague I think around four days we should be arriving in the Hague on the evening of the 11th around 7 p.m. as an estimate but that is TBC of course and we will be in Kiel on the 9th of June around 3 p.m. in the Kiel Kyrda. Please do come down and say hello, guys. Biotherm. We have Hulk in there in the background in second place, 11th hour, and unfortunately at the moment Litzia in fourth place. We do not have live radio contact with the crew, but Antoine has got his camera rolling, and that is on Eurosport as far as I'm aware. That is Biotherm there coming into that final mark and the finish line is just here behind us guys, that big white boat you see. Militia there flying down the back straight, trying to catch up some speed onto 11th hour ahead who are catching up to Holsim in second place. There is still this last maneuver to do around the mark. It's never over till it's over. <laughs> there is Biotherm. <clears throat> Coming into that last mark there. <laughs> Come in. Keel flyby 9th of June at 3 pm, guys. Be there. <clears throat> Do the boats have special sales or foils for the import race? <laughs> No, guys, in this race, we are not allowed to change the foils unless they are damaged. So the idea is to keep your same foils for the whole race where possible. And the sales, are, we do not have special sales for this race. We keep the same sales that we use, but we just decide which ones to have on board. There is Biotherm, guys, you see coming in to the finish line here. I am 
There might be one more left. Is there three laps? That's a We may have had some fake news from our side, guys. I think there are three laps of this course. Normally it's two, but I think it's three. So we still have some time. What a bonus. Down there, we have the maneuvers happening. We have Hulsim. It is a three lap course, I confirm. We gave everyone very fake news. Apologies for that. <laughs> we still have some time. It's still all to play for, guys. That is Milizia maneuvering early here into the mark. You have Holsim, 11th hour behind them in third, followed by Milizia. It's all good, guys. We all make some mistakes sometimes, but it is three laps. A little bit lucky on this one. Oh, are they going to make it? That is Holsim coming into that mark pretty close, but looks like they are making that round. Biotherm in first, Holsim second, 11th hour in third, and Milizia in fourth. like something is happening on the head cell of Militia, but it looks like it might be on now. I'm not sure what happened there, but there was definitely a delay in that maneuver. Normally we are very quick on that one and it seems like they have got that under control now, but that will have lost them some time there. It will be interesting to figure out what happened there. Now you have 11th hour, they are around that mark clean coming here into lap three. That is three laps, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. It's going to be tough to get around this next mark, guys. We lost some ground with that maneuver. There was an issue on board. We are not sure what, a minor one at least. But it is going to be hard to get around this mark. Let's see what happens. Are you not allowed to be inside the lap? You know, you need to keep around these marks and you do not want to hook your coils on that mark. I'm hearing that there was some issue to entangle a rope on board. That was what slowed them down on that maneuver, but it looks good now. They are coming in for that mark. They will be pushing hard to try and keep above that mark. It's looking okay at the moment. The key thing is not to catch that foil on the mark as you come around. We've seen it happen before. Not with us, luckily, but Biotherm had that issue in one of the other legs. It is not ideal. You are around that mark. Well done, guys. Coming around that mark now. We are planned to have Nico back, that is correct. <clears throat> so that definitely lost us quite a bit of ground, guys. You see up there, we have both them have already gone round that end mark, followed by Holsim in second and 11th hour in third. Boris and Will are sharing the navigator role on board. And Boris has navigated for many years and of course navigated his own Vendees and solo road races on this leg. He also knows that area very well. Will Harris, who has sailed one of the most times, on, or the most time on the boat, will also be assisting with the navigation. And Nico will be back for the final leg. There are no extra points at the flyby in Kiel. 
it's only points when you get to the Hague. This is the final lap, guys. We are on lap three of leg six in Port Race here in Aarhus. Currently, Melitzki is sitting in fourth place. Biotherma up in first, taking quite a lead from Holsim, who are being caught up by 11th hour currently. There is a big gap between 11th hour and us. We've lost some ground with an issue of a tangled rope for the head sail. Normally in a long distance race, that would not mean much. It would cost you a few seconds, but in these short, inshore races, it can mean the world. That is our new head sail, guys, on board. Slightly moderate, uh, amended branding design. So, Nico is always planned that he sits out this leg. Some of our team members have families and it is a huge commitment to do so many legs of the ocean race. Nico, just like Boris sitting out another leg, it was always planned this way. I'm not sure on about the answer to your Volvo 65 question. I'm afraid that is a race management question. Did you not lose a sail in leg five? We did not lose a sail. We ripped a J2 sail that has been repaired by North Sails. It is back on board. We are only allowed to declare a certain number of sails. So if when you can repair, that is what you want to do. Otherwise you have, may have used all of your sail buffers. At the moment in this leg, six import race, five of them are up there. Speeding, already speeding down that back leg on this third round and yeah look at this it looks like 11th hour is catching up with Holston there is going to be a fight up ahead for that second third place you can see there the uh, Warner Brothers helicopter team fixed on them and here we are guys Sadly in fourth place, but still very happy and proud of this team. Let's not forget that the import race only counts when there is a tiebreaker at the very end in Genoa. Eleventh hour here, jostling for second place. Whoever said you couldn't overtake in this race may have been mistaken, guys. It is going to be an exciting leg three of this leg six import race. well at the moment for them. If they can hold on to this second place they will gain some points on that leaderboard. 11th hour currently sitting at the top of that leaderboard. At the moment it looks like Holston have managed to keep a distance on 11th hour. Militia coming in here look at that turning mark trying to gain some ground. Here you have it. Any questions guys, just ask them. We are here to answer. There you have Holton rounding that mark there. Hot on their heels is 11th hour who are trying and fighting hard. We have Militia coming up here behind not been the best import race for the team but still a strong performance they had a issue with one of the uh, maneuvers of furling and unfurling the head sail there they got a rope stuck cost them some pressure smiles <laughs> but here you have it guys at the moment both them um, running down that stretch there i'm sure helen or some help me when they are around that mark uh, looks like Holsum have gained quite some speed on 11th hour on that last manoeuvre 
And here you have it, the one you're all here to see. Beautiful Melitzia on her maneuver there. Let's hope this one goes a bit better. Looks like that's working well, folks. And she's round. Thanks guys for all your messages. Great to see so many of you joining from all over. We've got 1,300 on the line now. Tell us where you are watching from, guys. We love to hear where you are all from. We have a mix on the boat today. We have a Kiwi here. We have a Frenchie. Another Kiwi. A Brit. And another Brit here. <laughs> Melitia is made up of a big mix of us guys. There's 12 nationalities, 40 in the team. We want to hear where you're coming from. Slovenia, Hamburg, Denmark. Keep it coming. Apparently I've been told there is a 1,500 meter gap to the leader. So that is going to be a hard one to catch up. Lots of you writing now. Germany, US, Bremen, Berlin. Lots of you in Germany, Frankfurt, Jenna, places I don't know, Thailand we have, I like it. Who can be the most diverse place? Cyprus, Zurich, lots of you from Hanover, Aarhus, Dusseldorf, I'm seeing a lot. Greetings from, oh, we've got a Zagreb there, nice. Beijing, China. Bahamas, I love you guys, everywhere. New Jersey, keep it coming. Canada, Kyoto, Munich, Rome. It is awesome to see so many of you following all over the world, guys. You are currently following this leg six of import race, sorry, of the ocean race. We are here, unfortunately, Litsia is in fourth place, but it is only the import race. The real race starts on the 8th. We will be flying past Kiel. So all of those staying there in Germany, of which there are many. Kiel, see ya, talk to the team. Melissa is flying down that back leg at the moment, trying to catch up some lost miles, meters. Lots of you, Oldenburg, Boris's hometown on the line. Dusseldorf again. Lots of you also from Berlin. Willkommen from for the German. Not able to roll Holton. There is still a big gap there. 
great that many of you will be joining us in Kiel or The Hague. Kiel the 9th of June, The Hague arrival is the 11th. Some of you in New York. Anyone wanting to have more information about Kiel, please go to our website, team-militia.com. On the website there is information about the Kiel flyby. All your information is there, perfectly put together by Helen everything you need to know in one place there is militia there coming down that back line 11th hour here a whole sim and soon biotherm is going to be crossing the finish line although it's a very sad day for us i am happy for biotherm they have had a very difficult leg five only arriving yesterday it is pretty impressive to see him them sorry <laughs> crossing the finish of leg Sixth import race in first place. Look at that. Woo! They will be very happy on board, guys. It is impressive to see. That is Biotherm finishing. A huge congratulations to Paul and the team. One of those sailors, Mariana, she actually stayed on board. She did not get off in uh, Norway, she stayed on board. She has barely slept. I saw her heading to her hotel last night and she is back on board today for this race. It is impressive to see them here at the finish line in first place and well ahead of the other ones. The map of the import race, guys, it is on our website. All information goes on our website at least 24 hours before any leg start or any race. On the website, you see pictures of the race course. You have pictures of the uh, everything you can think of in Kiel. We have told you where it all is on the website. Big, big congratulations to Biotherm here, guys. They are first on this import race for leg six of the ocean race. What are you thinking, Oakley? Give us some words of wisdom. Uh, I'm thinking that the race was determined by the start. Uh, it goes to show how important a start is, it can make or break your race. Uh, if you have a bad start and you get left behind like we did, uh, it's very hard to catch up in a race track like this. So both of them did a good job of uh, winning, winning the start, as we say, and uh, they held their lead and yeah, smoked it. So good on them, they did a very good job. Uh, wholesome in 11th hour, had a little Good little battle uh, at one point. Pulsing here behind you just around that mark. Yeah. Any questions guys, put them in the chat, we will try to answer them. Pulsing here coming into the fish line in second place, followed by 11th hour and then Militia there you see heading for that final mark. place they had a fun battle with wholesome for that place but no luck there and there is 11th hour going over the finish line of this leg six import race Woo! and we are spinning around here 
Manizia picking up speed after the manoeuvre to come in fourth place for the finish of this import race. Any questions from you guys at home, put them in the chat. We are answering them. For those of you that have just tuned in, we have a new crew member on board. She is called Axel and she will be also the crew for leg six to the Hague. It is going to be an exciting leg and probably an even more exciting arrival considering the growing popularity of Rosalind Koibach, particularly going into her home country of Holland. Lizia rounding that leg, rounding that leg, rounding that marker, sorry, for the final stretch of this import race. The ranking is Biofem Crossed in first, Hulse in second, 11th hour in third, and soon to be Melitzia in fourth place. Kyo are not in, not in Aarhus yet. They are finishing the boat off in Kiel and they will be arriving on Tuesday. Here you have it, guys. Team Melitzia coming in to the finish of the import race leg race. Not much further to go as they are coming in to the finish line. Coming in to the finish line, guys, of Lessig in place four of the race. Thank you guys for joining us from all over the world. Super nice. Welcome you as Valencians. Anyone in our house, we are here. Come down and see the boat. Everything is good with Nico, guys. He is planned, always planned to sit out this leg. He will be back with us, do not worry. I can guarantee that Nico is fighting fit. He also has a young family with three kids and uh, it's his time to spend a bit of that at home. So everything is good with Nico. On board though, we have Boris, Will, Axel and Rosie, as well as our flight captain extraordinaire, Antoine. They will be the crew four leg six into the hay. There you have it guys, that is the end of the import race. Any final questions, I give you one minute and then I will be signing off. Any final questions guys? So the Kiel flyby, all the information is on our website. Please have a look there for the most up-to-date information. It's called Kiel flyby. I think it is 3 p.m., but check there. We are updating it all the time. It is opposite the Fligge or Camp 24 area where you will be able to get the best view. There will be boats out on the water as a flotilla as an option, but all the information you need is on our website, team-militia.com. We are really excited to arrive in Holland guys. At the moment I don't think we need anything, but we let you know if that changes. Cheers guys, a few more minutes, a few more seconds, and we will be logging off. Where to buy the Got Bag merchandise on the Got Bag website, you can buy it. If you go to our website and type Got Bag, you can also find a link to where you can buy that as well. The Militia collection of Got Bag is available there. We are looking forward to seeing you guys, Kiel, The Hague, Genoa, and then Monaco for the Melitzia finale, <laughs> not the ocean race finale. It has been a wild ride. A wild ride. That is a good point. Melitzian's episode 10, Wild Ride, is out now, guys, on YouTube. If you really want to know what it is like to be part of Melitzia, go tune in, watch Melitzians. Tell us your favorite parts in the comments. 
the next episode is going to be out next Tuesday. Not this Tuesday, next Tuesday. Thank you all for watching. It's the bye from me. Bye. <laughs> bye, bye guys. Bye. See you guys. <laughs> Kiel is on our website, guys. Go to our website, Team Militia, team Team-Militia.com. All your Kiel info is there. Don't forget the hyphen. Hyphen. Everything you could ever want to know about Kiel, it's on our website. Thank you so much, guys. We will laugh and hopefully win. Not win today, but it was just a small battle. We can try and win the overall one. Bye-bye. <laughs>